Hey guys, welcome back. OGA Outdoors. My name's Ben. I'm out here at the woodshed. Had somebody message me for a load of firewood. Actually, I guess this is my new favorite customer. I carried them a, a rick, a face cord, truckload, or whatever you want to call it, on Memorial Day weekend. So now they're getting geared up for 4th of July, I guess. They just called. They need another load by Thursday. So we're out here trying to beat the heat a little bit. It's really hard to beat the heat. I mean, the air just now finally just started stirring. I was out here early, like 7 o'clock. I was just sweating. It was miserable because of the humidity. But I'm going to get in here. we got to sort this out. i got some cherry in here and some oak. And I don't want to give them all the cherry. So I'm going to sort that out and save that one for my smoker wood. Because I can sell it for a better price. But stick around. So here we are in the, inside the shed. I got, you can see the darker with the reddish look to it. The cherry. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that out. And set it off down here to the side. And save it for smoker wood. The advantage of this getting this sale going is because I can get this cleared out this is my last stack in here then I can start stacking all the red oak I've been acquiring start stacking some of it in here and filling it in this bay as well but you don't think that's not dry this stuff is hot premium ready to go bigger pieces of oak we'll just throw them in the wheelbarrow here then we'll just throw them in the truck And any of the smaller stuff I got like this, I'm going to set that off the side as well. I can use it in, in bundles. So I, this guy's burning all this in a outdoor in a fire pit. So I think he prefers larger pieces. So I'm even going to throw in some of the chunks out here of the knots and stuff. The bigger ones are out of that pile too. some of these bigger pieces of cherry I'll let a few of them go because I'm probably not going to have enough to fill the order if I just call out all the cherry especially if they have any knots or anything so th this is the way I load the truck for my deliveries I always put one stack level at the top of the tailgate across the back this one just needs just a few more pieces then I just Throw everything else in the back, fill it, you know, level to a little bit of a heaping curve. It, it comes out to be a rick every time. I mean, I've had nobody to complain. As long as you add a little, round, mount it up just a little, tossed in, works out great. I think it saves a lot of time, too. A couple more here. Don't want anything here that could possibly fall off the back over the tailgate either. There we go. And all the rest just toss it in and fill it up. And when I'm tossing it in, I'm Trying to be conscious of any, not to leave any gaps, any holes, or voids with her. So I guess it's more of a strategic toss. Now this guy said the bigger the better on the pieces, so I like odd things like that. Works out good for me. I'll even, I started out at my coal pile where I had a lot of knots and things. And I put, that's what I put a few in here first, but I'll pull back out there and when I top it off and I'll put a few more big pieces on there, I'll show you some of that.
Yeah, you really like your fire pit customers. They don't really care how big the wood is. Because these pieces here, I got a couple. They're probably 19 inches plus. They won't fit in my stove. I cut these back, I don't know, a couple years ago when I was, I was not being near as precise as I do now. I cut my links, you know, I, I mark everything I cut. Every round pretty much gets marked right at 16 inches. So I'm, I try to be very consistent because you, you can waste a lot of time messing around with you know, having to recut this off, you know, it's a pain trying to hold one stick of wood with your foot or something and then chop off an inch or two to get it to fit. Anyway, just a little tip. So I think I've about got all the cherry out of the stick. I've been setting it off to the side here. Like I say, I can sell it for a higher price. I'll even, it's become one of my favorite smoker woods myself. I've, I've started using it more than hickory. So I keep it for myself and nothing else. And I got some some of the smaller pieces that would be good for bundles because I'm I'm still selling a lot of bundles down at the road. So use a smaller piece and that way I don't even have to split them down smaller. Just go ahead and have it ready to make more bundles. Alright, we got one last wheelbarrow we'll throw on here. Fill in a few of the openings. And I'm gonna pull out to my coal stack the big pieces, big really big chunks. I may throw on a few more of those for him as well. Like I was saying, we'll just give them a few of these bonus pieces, I call them. All right, guys, we got the firewood delivered. I think that for sure that's my new favorite customer. He's He burns a lot of wood. He's got a really nice house on the river, and they have a lot of outdoor activities, and they go through it. So we'll keep him stocked. But I got, you can see in the back here, I got, there's still a little bit left, not a lot. I'm probably going to go ahead and make bundles out of that, and then I'll stack the bundles over here. That way I can go ahead and start stacking firewood in the back. I've got my cherry sorted out here. The most more bundle wood right here. I'll use that up. Cause I got a, I've got a lot of firewood outside, and I need more pallets. Actually, stacking them, I'm out of pallets. I've got a lot more firewood coming in. There's going to be a future video on that. There's, there's lots of things happening around here. But like always, if you like my videos, go ahead and give me that thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel, and I'm going to catch you on the next one. I really appreciate you watching. Thanks.